All right, now we're going to take a look at number 15. We've got an 8-kilogram block sitting on a ramp. We're trying to find what the force of friction is. The force of push is going down the hill. Force of gravity parallel is going down the hill. Normal and gravity perpendicular are where they normally are along the y-axis, normal up, and gravity perpendicular down. In this question, we're given that the force of push is 25 newtons, so we're trying to find the force of friction. So I'm going to add up my left and right stuff. To the right, I've got gravity parallel. I've also got the force of push. That's why they're both positive, because they're both to the right. Force of friction is minus, or negative, because it's to the left. I'm out of left and right arrows, so I say equals zero. So gravity parallel and push, my right stuff, is going to equal my left stuff, which is the force of friction. Plug in what these two things are, gravity parallel and the force of push. Gravity parallel is the sine of the angle times mg, and force of push is 25. The sine of 30 times the mass, which is 8, times 9.8 .8 meters per second squared, plus 25 gives me friction, which is 64.2 newtons. Taking a look at number 16, we have two blocks on this one. So we're going to take a look at each one. A big complicated problem is really just a simple problem or a couple of simple problems in a row. In this particular problem, we know that this mass is 5 kilograms, and we're trying to figure out what the mass of the one on the ramp is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out some stuff about the one that's hanging. The reason for that is without knowing the mass of the block on the ramp, I don't know the normal force. I don't know gravity perpendicular. I don't know gravity parallel. And tension is not given in the problem. I don't know any of these arrows, so I can't possibly solve for anything for this block on the ramp. I do know some stuff over here about the block that's hanging. So if you're not sure where we're going with this a while, it's always a good idea when you're in doubt, just start solving for stuff. You might end up finding your way once you start solving for some things. So the block that's hanging, I call that mass one. The force is acting on it. Tension goes up. Gravity goes down. Now, in this particular problem, I said that anything that goes up with this block or down to the right on this one is positive because if this block on a ramp moved to the right, then this block's going to go up. So that's sort of the same direction. And if the hanging block fell down, the block on the ramp would go left. So they're kind of the same direction. So that's why we want to keep it steady and make sure that anything that goes along this arrow right here to the right is positive. And when it comes back to the left and down, it's negative. So block one, tension up minus gravity down equals zero. So my up stuff equals my down stuff. So that means the tension has to equal the mass of that block times 9.8. So tension is 5 times 9.8, or 49 newtons. You might say that doesn't get us very much, but it actually does, because now I know the tension. And if I take a look at mass number two, remember our right stuff, gravity parallel, equals our left stuff, which is tension. So I can write that in equation, gravity parallel minus tension equals zero, or my right stuff equals my left stuff. Gravity parallel is a sine of 32 degrees, because that's the angle of the ramp, times mass times g equals tension. So m2, when I do a little bit of math, I divide by sine of 32, I divide by g, and I get tension divided by the sine of 32 times g. Plug in my numbers, tension we already solved is 49, sine of 32 and 9.8 for g, and I get the mass of the unknown block is 9.4 kilograms.